Okay guys, we're going straight into a uh, 3D Mark Vantage performance test here. I was being stupid and didn't read the comment on the video I thought I read it on and I thought I read uh, the comment of someone asking to upload uh, the performance benchmark for I thought that they wanted me to upload the prevent, uh, performance benchmark score for 3D Mark 11 which I put up only to find that it was actually 3D Mark Vantage in performance that they wanted to be able to see so we'll let this run um, and then whoever asked uh, can see the performance score but it's also up there uh, on YouTube for anyone else to, to check out alongside um, the extreme scores for 3D Mark 11 uh, and the high score for 3D Mark Vantage The writing on the top left of this benchmark is uh, EVGA Precision X. Um, it's just got information on my GPU core clock uh, going from left to right. Um, GPU, uh, GPU core clock, uh, temperature, then GPU usage. Uh, below that is memory usage and below that is frame rate, but it's also at the bottom. I have noticed in a few of my videos that the screen was a bit bright, uh, but that was due to it being recorded at night time so there's very little light uh, coming into this room uh, so the camera sort of uses its own ISO and it can uh, become quite noisy the picture and uh, also notice it's quite bright so I've reduced the backlight brightness of my monitor shouldn't be so in your face this time This benchmark takes slightly longer than 3D Mark 11. You're more than welcome to skip straight to the uh, conclusion at the end of the performance score, um, but you're also more than welcome to watch and listen to me waffle on about nonsense and also if you want to watch the benchmark running. I thought I'd mention earlier uh, guys in this video that um, I do set my, uh, in a minute uh, after this bench, uh, this scene is playing at the moment there will be uh, two CPU benchmarks, one with uh, the amount of operations per second uh, that the processor can calculate and also there's a physics uh, demo that runs. Um, a lot of people tend to have that on the CPU, running on the CPU, which I do believe is the way you should run it, uh, run it on this benchmark. But I always choose to have it on 
uh, graphics card because that's what I'll be using physics on. So the score is going to be slightly higher uh, if people are used to using just CPU for physics. Uh, but what we we'll do, or what you can do rather, is just take the um, performance score uh, with a pinch of salt, or you can uh, just take the graphic score uh, and the frame rates per each uh, scene, and then you can uh, get the scores from that way. As I said in a lot of my videos as well, uh, feel free to check my channel out and uh, check other gameplay. Um, what I'm trying to do is uh, avoid fraps for benchmarks, um, as it's going to affect uh, it's going to affect overall score at the end. Um, actually, what I was saying earlier about this this test using uh, my graphics card instead of uh, processor, I lied. It seems to have gone back to default settings uh, once I've relaunched 3 of my advantage. So that plane test was just running on CPU. Um, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a lower score if people use their graphics card as the physics device. Um, but it'll be uh, a proper score if uh, you just use a CPU. So I've used a CPU on this test, so this score is going to be a, a little bit lower than I expect. But yeah, uh, as I got interrupted <laughs> looking at that benchmark, uh, the plain test physics one, I was saying uh, feel free to check the channel out and other videos, um, and also what I was saying is I'm trying to avoid fraps. Uh, for benchmarks because it's going to affect overall uh, performance scores. Uh, what I'll do is gameplay, uh, I will start using FRAP so you get a, a better picture on quality because this isn't the best camera. Um, but it's just to give you a gist of uh, you know what the true score basically. But I will start using FRAPs for uh, gameplay in the future. Um, so yeah, feel free to ask if there's any uh, games that you want to see running. Alright, so that wraps that test up. I'm um, just going to sort of go over the scores and not do my usual usual banter this time. Uh, so basically, uh, performance score, uh, 30,385. Uh, GPU score, 33,795 and the CPU score of 23,324 I usually see that at uh, 70 odd thousand if I use a graphics card so that's what I meant by I was expecting it to be a lot less uh, but this I'm sure is the proper way to do this benchmark uh, so basically uh, GPU test 1 and 2 uh, there's the frame rates there CPU test that's the operations per second also that's the physics one um, there's the individual scores there for feature tests uh, you can always pause this and rewind um, but like I said I'm just going to keep that one short um, and as always uh, thanks for watching um, yes I'm signing off guys